Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back in my cider shed with some more cider to try. We're back on the French cider. Um, it is Pédoge, Cidre AOP, uh, 2019 vintage. Combremé, Cidre de Tradition. <laughs> um, Manoir de Grandoué, it's a producer. I actually got two bottles of these people, unwittingly. This is their AOP Pédoge, so this is like the proper, you know, French cider. I've got another one which isn't AOP but it's also made by them. So that's interesting, isn't it? It's going to be interesting to try them both. Yes, Chris, it is interesting. I'm glad you agree. Um, what do we know about them? 28 hectares, 25 different varietals. They are Calvados producers as well, as are all these people. But I'm very much looking forward to trying this. So I think um, it's been four months, maybe three, four months fermentation. It's a cold fermentation. It's keyed, pet nap. Everything we expect. I picked up my bottle opener. I don't know why. Because it's got its own bouche. It's got a cork in it. I have to be quick. Because there's something in the oven. And if I'm not quick it will burn. I don't want to burn the thing in the oven. So if I'm looking a bit like I'm going faster than usual. That's why. Got me cedar salon. Like cedar? Cider salon glass. Just came out of the dishwasher. So it's quite warm. But that might be good. It might warm this up a bit. This is very cold. But look how clean that is. That is clean. That is a clean glass. Right. Whoa, pop. Very nice pop that. Felt great coming out. Hardly any effort required. Let's pour it out. Hopefully we're going to get some nice colour in this. Nice bubbles, as we would absolutely expect. ABV, I'm going to guess 4.5. But I didn't have a look, did I? What is it? 4.5. And there's nothing else on here to read out. So, uh, Combremé. That is the orchard, apparently. That's the orchard that this, these apples come from. And, um... I can't remember, Lime, Lime, oh, I forget what it was. I'll put it on the screen. It said on their website. Um, yeah, can't remember what the terroir was, what the the, 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 the the geological structure was beneath the uh, orchard. But they said it lends it a little bit of bit bitterness. And actually, that's something that was unique to that particular orchard. So that's interesting, eh? Right. Colour. Where's my thingy jig? It's getting a bit less white, this thingy jig. It's getting some dirty marks on it. But it'll still do the job. That's a nice amber, that one, isn't it? Hazy, beautiful, it might have a bit of condensation on it because it is in fact quite warm, so it might actually be condensation, but yeah, no, it is, that's got a haze to it, definitely. Lovely bubbles, which are persisting. Nice amber, that, isn't it? Very nice. Really looking forward to this one. Let's have a sniff. That's what you'd expect. Again, hints of funk. Loads of ripe red apple. It's been poached in butter and brown sugar. I say that all the time, but that is the smell you get. But the one I had last was like a last, was it the last one I had? A couple of times, a couple of films ago maybe. It smelled like apple pie filling or apple crumble or something. Very different for a Norman cider. Very different, but it wasn't AOP, so I don't know if they'd use more sharps and bitter sharps than they traditionally would. It felt to me that that's, that was the case. This has still got that a stone, almost like a stone fruity thing as well going on. Hint of funk, loads of ripe red apple, sorted butter, sugar, etc. Melts watering. Let's try it. Delicate tannin, which is nice. Loads of fruit, bags full of fruit. This feels like a ripe red fruit. It doesn't feel like that apple pie filling, that more tart cooking apple that's got sugar put on it. This feels like the sugar's like from the apple itself, um, which it obviously is. Um, lovely, nice acidity. Don't get the bitterness that they mentioned. I'm getting a bit of like a, like an apricot sort of character as well. Um, yeah, this is nice. Residual sugar, but lovely. Balanced with acidity. Hint of astringency. I mean, I wouldn't say there was... I'm not getting any... They would said bitterness. I'm not getting it. It's not like the stuff we're getting from the Cornwall LP cider from Brittany, which had that proper leathery, hard tannin structure on the back of the palate. I took it by surprise, because I never had that in a, 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 um, a French cider before. Normandy or... or or um, Breton or anywhere else. Um, this is beautifully balanced. This is a beautifully balanced cider. Great sugar, great acidity, 4.5%. When this warms up, it's going to get even better. There's that sort of almost like apricot, almost like apricot jam, almost character to it as well, which I really like.
Okay, so the Norman side as we've tried, this one so far is the winner. And I think it might be the first the first AOP, AOC um, one we've had. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's the case, actually. Um, it does have some sweetness, but I like sweetness. It hasn't got that tartar tan thing, but it does have it's that kind of like stone fruit, red apple, ripe apple, mixed with some of that acidity, which feels almost... Yeah, don't know. What's the what's the what's the acidity in in like nectarine or apricot? Is it like, is it what's the acidity? Is it citric? I'm not sure what it is actually. Is it citric acid? I'm going to assume it is citric acid, but I'm not sure. It doesn't feel like lemon lime character. It does feel like it's come from like a stone fruit. That's what it feels like. Beautiful side of that. Absolutely cracking. Very very happy with it. I'll be curious to try this against their non AOP slash AOC side. Of, see how they compare. I think that one's going to be drier than this. I think it said so on the bottle. So there you go, guys. A very nice AOC, AOP cider, Pidouge, from Normandy in France, from Manoir de Grandoué, uh, de Grandoué Combremé, si de, de, de tradition. <laughs> hey, trying to do it in French there. So there you go. If you can get some of this, get some of this, because this is a proper bottle of French Normandy cider. It really is. It does tick the box. It's absolutely, I like it very much indeed. I'm looking forward to opening their next bottle as and when. So now I'm going to rush off. To see if the thing I'm, that I put in the oven is burned or not. Let's hope it's not. Alright guys, thank you for joining me in my shed. I hope you join me again, but until then, cheers. <laughs>